I'm joined once again by Mackenzie Dern, who's going to be making her Invicta FC debut coming up here December 8th. Mackenzie, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> how are awesome. you? I- I'm doing very well. It's good to talk to you again. I know you're very busy. You were on the uh, MMA Hour on Monday, which is a big deal. And, uh, of course, you announced that you're going to be with Invicta. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you, though, I know you were with LFA before that. Uh, was there ever any talks of you fighting for a title with LFA? Because it seemed like that was the plan once you started winning a couple of your fights. Yeah, for sure. After, like... Actually, before my last fight, you know, like we wanted to, like we had mentioned to them, like Ed Suarez and the guys, you know, like like maybe in the future we can have one title fight, you know. Uh, but then, like we came to the like idea, like okay, let's go to 125. So when that came up after the 125, we thought like okay, maybe let's go for a title fight for LFA. But uh, I think just was kind of hard you know like the opportunity like I'm trying to grow um as a fighter you know and for them to keep growing with me you know like Invicta ended up giving us like a great opportunity like a next level athlete and show like that I'm ready for the next step you know and that's the goal you know like we don't want to like stay the same you don't want to keep getting up you know yeah and and and, you know with Invicta you get different you know there's there's different fighters over there there's also uh you know the fact you're going to be on UFC fight pass as well so it's good to kind of get a bit of variety in your career early on I'm assuming that was part of the decision too yes for sure like to get a variety uh and and also too like just the opportunity to Invicta was like really okay with me going trying to go down to 115 again you know uh, I did all four LFAs, you know, three was supposed to be at 115. Uh, so I, I know for sure, like, for them, it's a big decision, you know, like, for me to go to L- to go to 115. And if something happens, like, the weight, you know, like, it, it's hard, you know. So uh, Victor was really, really, like, to go to letting me try to make this up, uh, this jump again, you know, to 115. So everything w- worked out. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a good event. Uh, like the girls that I'm going to fight, she's a tough girl, like next step for me for sure. And I like for everything I'm seeing now, like it's, uh, I'm just seeing like it's going to be a great card and everything. So I'm really excited. Yeah. And let's talk about your opponent. You're taking on a Medeiros. She's got the uh, eight and five record. Um, how do you feel like you match up against her now that you've had a chance to kind of look at tape and everything else? Uh, yeah, I'm like really bad at looking like at videos and stuff, you know, like, uh, stuff. <laughs> Uh, from what I know, like, I know she fought Angela Hill, you know, but I, until now I never saw the fight, you know, how it went or anything like that. Uh, I know that she's, or I don't know, but what I heard is, like, she's a really, like, well-round athlete, you know. Uh, I don't think she has, like, one specific thing that she's great at, you know. Like, I come, like, jiu-jitsu, like, that's my thing. I don't think she's like that, but the fact that she's, like, well-round at everything, you know, like, good at everything, I know for sure that's going to be, like, a, a big challenge for me. Uh, and like I, I know she's older, you know, uh, older than me. So for sure, she's like a tough girl. Like I know for sure she's strong. I think like she's fought 115 like multiple times, you know. So I know like the weight cut for her isn't gonna be like a problem. Uh, so it's a, it's a lot of things, and I think she has the experience. She's, she's for sure like the next step up, you know. Uh, but I'm excited, you know. I think like no matter how like well-rounded you are, you know, like it takes a lot of years to get like your jiu-jitsu to where my jiu-jitsu is at, you know? And I'd say so. Yeah. You, you have a lot of experience in jiu-jitsu. I mean, you're sort of an expert at it and like, you know, she's well-rounded. So she had, you know, she's good at everything, but she's not like an expert in, in one particular area like you are. Right. So, you know, I, I, you know, I think like I always talk with my training partners, you know, like stand up is way different, you know, but it's crazy how like you have the combinations and it's more like, like seeing seeing the punches and reaction time and and, and jujitsu is like it's like chess man you know like you defend one thing and have an, and just keeps like going and going and going and going so and uh ah, sorry my dog no worries <laughs> he's just excited about the fight i can understand yeah <laughs> you know so jujitsu is like like for sure striking is different it's hard you know like to learn but honestly i think like jujitsu is a lot harder you know like for someone to get their level up so fast than it is striking you know like jiu-jitsu is like you defend one thing but then the next person starts to come with another and another and another you know so I, i'm excited now you talked about training camp uh, who are some of your main training partners i imagine you know people like lauren murphy she's got a fight coming up i imagine uh, training partners like that yeah i have like courtney casey oh, here that's with right. us she's, uh, she's uh, training for her fight at 218 that's right yeah with uh uh felice herring i think she, or i don't know how you say it but no, no you had it. it's felice herring yep yeah, so uh, her and Lauren Murphy, she fights the ne- the next day, you know. So like, I mean, we we have like full on camp, like uh, tons of like the girls, you know, they're like beating me up. I have like great girls training with, and the guys too. We have so many people like 
you know, Scott's going to be on in Fresno, you know, and we have so many people fighting. So uh, this is, like, just a great time to be in camp. I'm really excited. And it's one of, like, the first times that I'm having, like, a full camp here in Phoenix. And I always, like, people always ask me about the jiu-jitsu, like, the whole year. I'm always kind of, like, coming off jiu-jitsu or the ADCC or whatever it is, you know. Uh, this one, like, after my fight, I went to, like, California for one week, and I'm back here since, you know. So I'm seeing, like, the whole camp here. So I'm really excited. I'm seeing, like, a lot of progression. Well, on that note, who's going to corner you for this fight? Because it seems like there's a lot of uh, – we were talking about this off air. There's a lot of uh, your teammates that have fights coming up. So I imagine it's going to get spread out a little bit. Yeah, for sure. Like, Coach John Crouch will be there. Uh, ben Henderson, he'll be with me. Oh, nice. Uh, oh. Yeah, uh, the the only one, like, uh, Coach Eddie Cha, he was with me on my last one, my stand-up coach. Um, we, 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 we don't, I don't know if he'll be able to be on mine on this one. We're going to see. Uh, but for sure, like, we all, all the teammates, we share him, you know. Like, it's like tug for him, you know. So, uh, but I have, like, for sure Ben Henderson and Coach Crouch. So, I'm, I, I know I'm in good hands, you know. If Coach Eddie's there, of course, it's a plus, you know. He's helping me so much with my stand-up. Uh, but if not, you know, like, I know, like, the next one and, keep going forward uh, will be easier and easier, you know? Yeah, for sure. Now, uh, of course, uh, we got to talk about the weight cut because I know, uh, you know, it's, it's been difficult <laughs> for you at times, but are, are you having anyone help you with the cut this time? Or are you just doing it on your own? Or like, are you trying anything different? You know, I, I'm doing it like more on my own this time. Uh, but honestly, like I'm feeling way better on the side. I don't know if because I just fought like October 13th uh, MMA. If my weight's like more manageable now, you know, like I didn't, I didn't bounce up too much after the fight, you know, so uh, I like for like I know for sure like it's going to be hard, you know, 115 for me is never easy, you know, like uh, so I know like the last like six pounds is going to be like oh, so hard. But even just like where I am now from my last camps, I was like worse on my other ones, you know, so right now I don't know the, the weight's going good, you know, so I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better, you know. I'm trying to do the weight cut now as close that I do for jiu-jitsu as possible, you know, like all my best results were the way I fought in jiu-jitsu, you know, like I was fast and I moved like the way I move, I was strong, you know, but still like moving fast, you know, uh, so I'm just trying to put that same like diet idea for my MMA, you know, just different, you know, different amounts, not not eating as much, you know, like the portion size way small, you know, to cut down, you know, fast and just training, you know, like I'm training at a lighter weight, more constant now, you know, so I'm feeling like way better in the training and everything. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm feeling way more confident on this one than I am about my other ones, you know, uh, but for sure, it's not going to be easy, you know, like I can't, I can't deny that, you know, but right now I'm feeling really good. That, that's awesome. Um, Cause I was going to say, I know uh, Jocelyn Liebarger who used to, I, I don't know if she still trains with you guys, but she works for Mike Dolce now. So I figured maybe you get some tips from her. Cause she seems to know that nutrition stuff pretty well. Yes, for sure. Uh, she's been, like, out from the academy for a while, you know. But she actually just came back Saturday and did some sparring with the girls, you know. Like, everyone was so excited to see her, you know. So, yeah, for sure. Uh, anytime I can, I'm going to try and, like, send talk to her, you know, always get, like, those extra tips. Anything helps. Yeah, she knows her stuff for sure. Um, now, we got Thanksgiving coming up. Um, how are you going to manage <laughs> that? Because that, that's a tough one to, to not be able to eat too much on Thanksgiving. Yeah, for sure. Going to, like, lock myself in the house, you know. Yeah. Just, just, just put put all the food in the freezer and you can have it after the fight. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That pumpkin pie and all that, just throw that in there. Then then you'll be, you'll be in good shape, right? So Yeah, definitely, you know. So it's good. They, they actually wanted me to fight, like, in January, you know, and I said, like, you know, man. No, I can't go- do two holidays. I can't do Christmas yeah. and Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, so, yeah, too many holidays is too hard, man, you know, like. <laughs> yeah, the struggle is real. Um, how do you see this fight ending on the 8th? Are we going to see another submission in this fight? Yeah, I think so. Like I, I'm, I'm, like I, the whole like 2006 or 17, you know. Uh, of course, I ended 2016 like saying I want to be like on top of 2017, like leave jujitsu on top, you know. I had like a knee surgery, like things didn't go the way I wanted in 2017, and I mean that happens, you know. Like it's impossible to be like on top all the time every year, you know. So, um, uh. Like 2017, even like in my jiu-jitsu, I was feeling my jiu-jitsu off, you know, and my MMA, not my MMA off, you know, but just everything was off, you know, like I wasn't feeling my best on jiu-jitsu, you know, so, uh, but the last like couple, since my ADCC camp, uh, and just come in and keep training, I'm feeling like my jiu-jitsu getting back to the way I, I feel the best at, you know, so I really feel like my jiu-jitsu is feeling so good right now. 
uh, in training and the sparring, in just my jiu-jitsu practice, you know, like I'm my rationalization is like way faster again, you know. Um, but I think that's like pressure I put myself, you know, like, you know, like, man, you just have knee surgery, you know, but you want to be back like 100%, you know, like those things come back with time, you know. So I'm feeling way better. And I really think that uh, this fight went with like a submission. You know? I, I'm hoping, you know, <laughs> we'll see. For sure. Well, I was going to say, if you get another impressive win here, I mean, you talked about it on, on the MMA hour, the UFC, I imagine that's what's next if you get, you know, an impressive win here, because that's sort of what you're looking at. I hope so. You know, like that's, that's the goal, you know, so we'll see. Maybe like Dana will be watching. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure he will be. It's on <laughs> Fight Pass. They, they own the, the thing, right? So they, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so that's good. Um, you, you also mentioned on the MMA hour that you've been uh, tuning into tough uh, 26. Um, who do you think is going to win the show? Uh, do you have any predictions on that? Um, I, you know, I think, I think Sejar, you know, I know Sejar like on a personal level, you know, we fought in Jiu Jitsu, you know, uh, I know her since we were like blue belts, you know, so like we really grew grew up like blue, purple, brown, blacks together. Uh, so it's like so great to see her. And man, she's like one of the biggest girls on the on the show, you know. So I think like uh, besides like her weight being like stronger and everything, you know, like she's such a tough girl, you know. I know like jujitsu side, I know she's tough. And I know like as a person, she's a tough girl, you know, like she's not scared of anything. So I really think that she's going to take take home the, the win, you know. I hope so. I'm uh, for her. Seeing a show like that, would you ever be interested in doing a, a show like that? Uh, living in a house with a bunch of girls uh, in a competition like that? <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> not I especially like to cut weight, man. Like, man, yeah. Oh, cut. yeah, that's right. You have to cut even more. I forgot about that because yeah. you're fighting so like, much, right? Yeah, you like to cut and like to be in the house and seeing everyone, everyone having everyone see you suffer like that, you know. Uh, man, like I, like I have tons like of girlfriends, you know, like. I'm a very like friendly person and everything, but man, to be like in a house like that without talking, without my dogs, you know, without like, you know, my family, the, you know, boyfriend, all that stuff, you know, I, I couldn't do it, you know, I, I prefer like to have my training, my mind here, you know, so uh, like they had actually talked, you know, like asked me, you know, like, okay, are you interested in my manager? Like, do you want to try out for it and stuff? Like we thought about it and so like, no, let's like do it. You know, maybe this will be longer, you know, like, okay, maybe I, if I won the house, you know, you go straight to the belt, I think, right? Yeah. You get the title. Yeah, the, title. Winner, the winner gets the, the title, so. Yeah, you know, like, that would be, like, great, you know, but, you know, we, we thought that it's better to stay out, you know. I prefer to watch on TV, you know. Yes, like, be a spectator <laughs> instead of being a yeah. competitor. Yeah, I hear you on that. What are you watching on, on TV right now, on Netflix, anything like that? Are you watching any TV shows right now? Man, Food Network all the time. <laughs> oh, Food Network, okay, good stuff. What, any, any particular shows on there that you like? I watch like uh, Chop, the Beat Bobby Flay, uh, like Iron Chef, like uh, okay. all the cooking. All, all cooking the good stuff. ones then, yeah. Yeah, you know, all the stuff like to be cooking, like the holiday bake, baking championships. You know, I just leave on all day, you know, like that's what, I, that's what I'm watching. You know, like I, I'm excited like for Thanksgiving, you know, like I can't eat, but I, I can cook for other people. Like I'm the type of diet person that I want the people to eat what I want to eat, you know. Yeah, so, cooking's fun. Like, it's enjoyable it to see other people eat, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like here you want this too you know have that too you know then they throw it away you're gonna throw that away why you know so like all the time the food network last question for you here i don't know if you're aware of this video that someone made of uh, they took all your interviews from the last like i don't know how many years um but it's called the the evolution of Mackenzie dern's accent have you seen this video yet no so but basically I heard they, they have they have okay so i'll just give you like cole's notes so basically they have an interview that you did i want to say in like the early 2000s or something to like now and how you've like i guess because you know you live in brazil and you, you speak uh, portuguese and all this it uh there's there's you've developed like a bit of an accent have you seen this and have you seen all the comments and everything on it no no but i've seen people commenting like my instagram sometimes people will say stuff uh so usually i just like block you know and <laughs> take it off you know like usually people that like like I don't want to say like hate you know but that talk about it you know I just like you know take it off you know so but I haven't seen like uh an actual like video uh of it or anything so right, no fair enough I just I just want to see if you saw because uh yeah I don't I don't know why people give you a hard time about that because if you live somewhere else usually you tend to speak uh you know kind of closer to the language that they're speaking right like if I was to go to Australia for like a couple of years I'd probably have an Austra a bit of an Australian accent so I don't know why people are giving you a hard time about that but um no I think like the from what from what I think you know I think the biggest thing like people 
or they don't know that I'm Brazilian too, you know, like they think that like my dad and, you know, like my family, we're not Brazilian, you know, so I think they, or they think like I'm like 100% American and everything, or I think maybe they think like at home and stuff, like I just, I speak English, you know, but really like I, even though I live in Arizona, like I speak way more Portuguese than I speak English, you know, like the most people that I speak English with is like, uh, like the teammates at the lab, you know, uh, and like my dad's students at Jiu Jitsu, you know, besides that I'm speaking Portuguese, you know, like my, I mean, I'm not married to my ex fiance, you know, we're, he's Brazilian, you know, at home we speak, we spoke Portuguese, my, my dad and my family, my dogs, I speak Portuguese, you know, so uh, I think people like kind of don't realize really how much Portuguese I speak, you know, on my day to day life, you know, so I think that's maybe just like the biggest thing, you know, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think like, I, not that I'm like ha happy, but it's like, it's almost kind of like, like, man, like they really like pay paying attention to me, you know, yeah. and everything. Especially going back like, that far with the interviews and everything. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, like, so like, I guess like if it's like good or bad, you know, it's like, man, they're still like, they're paying attention to like what I'm doing and stuff. So like, I, it's kind of like nice, you know, that they're like looking at all that stuff, you know? So I, I don't take it as a bad way, you know, just, like, as long as, like, people don't, like, disrespect me, you know, like, I never disrespect anybody, you know, like, I, I don't see, like, the big deal, you know, I just don't, like, it's, like, people are, can be mean sometimes. <laughs> I, I don't see you ever getting mad at anyone. You seem so happy all the time. It's just, I don't, I don't think it's in your nature. So I'd, I'd be shocked if I saw you, like, get upset with someone. But but anyways, yeah. uh, it's Invicta FC 26. It's coming up here December 8th, uh, live on UFC Fight Pass. Uh, Mackenzie, it was uh, great getting a chance to catch up with you. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media and if you have any sponsors or shoutouts, the floor is yours. Yeah, uh, just like Instagram, it's Mackenzie Dern, like at Mackenzie Dern. Uh, Twitter is the same. Uh, Facebook, you can check me out. Um, and just my sponsors, you know, like War Tribe, Hayabusa, uh, Studio 540. Those are zebra mats. You know, every, everyone that's with me, like from the beginning, basically. So thank everyone, all the fans for all the support. And thank you for the time and the interviews, James.